Oh my goodness gracious. We got Chopper Doc, the newest member of the Whale Gang. Let's reset. Let's recharge. Let's get ready to roar. My name is Professor Showtime. You are a Rush Royale trainer, and this is the big show. Today's lesson. We're trying to figure out what's the best deck on the ladder. Is it Boreas versus Hex? I mean, is it Boreas with Hex? Is it Boreas and the Engineer? Is it, dare I say it, the Inquisitor? We're trying to figure it out. We have no idea. What I do know is that Vampire is probably the best standalone figure in the game. You heard it here first. There is no deck that I say you don't need a vampire. However, let's talk about the pros and the cons of vampire. First things first, the pros. If you get two vampires or three vampires on the field at the same time, early game, what you want to do is max them out ASAP. By the time the first boss come around, you will have two and a half figures at max level. That is totally broken. However, late game, you're going to have a lot of mana and you're going to have to have a lot of decisions to make quickly. So the vampire is really good early game, but late game, you got to have good decision. If you're playing like an engineer deck with vampire, if you're playing an inquisitor deck with vampire, you got to be really careful because your board can go from great to bad. Vampire, I compare it to like a bad a bad uh, it, it, bedlam like you know when you get a bad bedlam and your 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 board just goes crap same thing can happen with vampire late game you have so much mana you're forced to over merge your board can really really be devastating so vampire best standalone figure but you got to be careful with it and that's how i feel it's balanced land the miller yeah so enjoy it while it lasts oh because you guys saying it's gonna nerf I mean, I think it's going to get nerfed. I was talking to Molt and uh, Phone Cats, and they th Molt thinks it's going to get nerfed. The Phone Cats doesn't think it's going to get nerfed because we're on the same school of thought. I'm thinking maybe we don't see the, the cons of Vampire, but the cons is at the end, you're going to have to merge your board, merge your board, merge your board. So, Chopper Doc, thanks for becoming the newest member to the mill of the Whale Gang. Let's go ahead and give you one more Whale Gang horn. Really, really appreciate it. Whale gang, stand up. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get back into some some battles. Let's get back into some battles. Oh my gosh, I'm having an amazing time tonight, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the new support. Thanks for all the super chats and the members. Really, really, really appreciate it. You guys, it helps out a small YouTuber a lot, a lot. You guys have no idea. Angel Torres, Showtime! Glad to see you back doing your thing. Brings me back to Pokemon Duel Games. Angel Torres, thanks a lot. Angel Torres, if you have free time, download this game. If you don't have free time, do not download this game. Because this game is super addictive. I'm saying super, like super addictive. Is there clans in Rush Royale? Joey Gibbs, I'm going to talk about it during the next break. During the next break, I'll talk about the, the clans. Um, short answer, no. But if you want me to elaborate, I will. After this game, I'll elaborate. All right, so we got two, vampi two vampires, but we need some uh, damage dealers. We got three vampires. Wow, three vampires is a lot. I just need one more damage dealer. All right, that's perfect. So right now, this is what we're going to do with vampires. We're just going to level them up, and I'm going to show you guys that by the time the, fir the first boss comes around, we're going to have two figures at max level, which is crazy, which is crazy. Are you going to make a clan when it comes out? Um, maybe, maybe we're going to see how clans are. What I hope clans do is I hope that clans actually allow you to donate cards to each other. Let's get one Boreas upgrade in there. I hope clans allow you to donate cards to each other to help you build up not only your card collection, but your tokens. So you can go through, go down the premium track and the free track or the free pass. All right, so we're at max level vampire. So now we're going to be at max level Boreas in a second. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. This is why Chopper Doc 
And uh, this is why Chopper Doc thinks it's going to be a nerf. And Land Landon Miller thinks it's going to be a nerf. Because we got two cards max level already. Right? And now Bedlam is coming, so it's going to give us some crazy RNG. So we're going to try to get as much fingers, fingers on the board as possible. To, like, mess around with the RNG. But look how many figures are on the board. I got a full board, and I got two figures max level. This is the power of just three vampires. Was it two or three vampires I had? I don't even remember. All right, so let's see what I got. Oh, that RNG was terrible. All right, let's get, let's get, let's get that Bedlam out the way. Boom. Woo. I like when Bedlam is the first boss. I don't like him when he's the fourth or fifth boss. Oh, look at my opponent, Blue. Shout out to you, Blue. Let me give him a let me give him a thumbs up. Another bedlam? Ah oh, man. Don't like the bedlams. Don't like the bedlams. Let's go ahead and uh I guess we can power up here. We got these vampires. Uh, I think we're killing them too fast to gain a lot of mana. Let's do that. Another big vampire. Another Bedlam is coming, so the board really doesn't matter. Bet if we match up on co-op, we make it to wave 40. 37 is my high. Oh, man, you're better than me. You're better than me. My high is 30. I can't get past that 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 30 Bedlam. Because Bedlam is, Bedlam is always on the boss on wave 30. I can't get past it. It always destroys my board. Kind of like it's going to do right now. Kind of like how it's going to do right now. Let's see if I can... Uh... Get some high level, high level figures. We got a lot of mana going on. We got a lot of mana going on. A lot, two thousand mana to play with. I think I'm good. I think we're good. You know what? I th think. I think we should be okay. We got 4,000 mana to play with. Whatever Bedlam does, we should be fine. 4,000. Oh, no. I got too much mana. It's way too much. Poison upgrade? Thank you. Thank you. Poison upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. All right. So, we got 3,000 mana. Let's see if we can counter Bedlam because we have 3,000 mana. 300,000 damage to get rid of. Yikes. Yikes. Don't think we're going to do it. 200,000 damage. Don't think we're going to be able to do it. Nope. Too many too many mimes or as phone cat says too many white girls. We're taking two we're taking two hits. As my, my opponent has Frost King so he might be okay. Blue might be okay. 30,000, 20,000, 10,000. Ooh, he barely got it. Now we get a tribunal. These are some hard bosses. These are some hard bosses. Oh man, we don't have any. We don't have any Boreas's on the field. We finally got one. Yikes. Yikes. Bad RNG, guys. Bad RNG, guys. Bad RNG, guys. This is not what you want to see. This is not what you want to see. This is not. Yeah, we. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Our board got screwed. We tried. We're trying our best. We're focused, but... We're focused, but... We lasted as long as we could. We lasted as long... Joey Giggs, yes. Game over. We lasted as long as we could. We tried. We tried. We tried. Shout out to my opponent. Chopper Doc. Chopper Doc. Thanks for telling me to upgrade poison. Shout out to my opponent. Round of applause. Round of applause to my opponent. Blue, you played excellent. Played excellent, Blue. I don't like that RNG though. I don't like I don't like that RNG. I don't like that RNG. We get a support chest. Go ahead. Why not? Why not? Mini sieves. Is anybody interested in mini sieves? Does anybody ever click on these? On these ads? I don't know. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen. 
everything andrew welcome to the stream welcome to the stream there's way too much rng in this game there's a lot of rng and that's why i love it i love pvp rng strategy games always 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 nobody ever clicks on these right uh, ever I, don't, I think i've ever clicked on one of these games ever all right let me see let me tell you what what, what would happen if it was for like random dice plague defenders maybe if it was the same genre it needs to be a slightly better chance to upgrade what you want um yeah so this is what i think of course i'm no dev but you see how when you upgrade your collection you have this crit critical damage chance. There should be something that you can upgrade that allows you to like, kind of like have your percentage geared towards one card that you want to come out the come out from RNG. You know, I hope that makes sense. I hope uh, maybe I didn't specify that correctly. Maybe like a talent tree, or maybe like a skill tree. Like you put points in, you level that up, and then you can upgrade. When you upgrade, it's going to go towards the card that you want. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's kind of rough. Keep keep fit, kid. Just started this game. Loving it. Keep fit, kid. All I got to say is that if you have free time, this game is amazing. If you don't have free time, stay far away from 